One timeout remaining. They need a touchdown and an extra point. But first, the touchdown. Hill in the shotgun, takes the snap, rolls out to his right, tries to get outside at the 15, at the 10, at the 5, dives, touchdown Longview! Touchdown Lee! Josh Hill scrambles to the near side and dives into the end zone, and we are one extra point away from going possibly to overtime, but don't forget what Longview did at this time last week. Yep, they blocked an extra point last week, and we'll keep this tape on right here and see just what happened, David. Uh, that's just a great rollout that time from Hill, taking from the seven, find, does not find a receiver, is flushed out of the pocket, races to the corner of the end zone and dives in for the six. The district championship, they have come from 14 to three down. They have come from 22 to 15 to within a point, and Lee will go for the win. What a gutsy decision from Mike Owens from the Longview three in motion T.Y. Hill throws it, pass, overshoots his receiver. Pettigrew was open, but he had him overshoots it, and Longview has held Lee on a two-point conversion as Mike Owens goes for the win, and Hill had to throw that thing early because I think it might have been Tate Casey or somebody else who rushed the throw, and now Longview will have to recover an onside kick as Lee is a point down as Mike goes for the win. Pretty gutsy call yeah. by Mike Owens. Yeah, David, you really... Yeah. Wow. Lee will bounce around and I'm sure shift to one side. All the hands people for Longview on the field as Stanley's at his 40. Lee has a bunch of players on the other side. Here's the kick. It bounces around, and Longview's going to have it, and they're going to win this game at their 49-yard line, recovered by number 16 for the Lobos. That is James Pierce, their cornerback. And all Longview has to do is take a knee, and they're going to win this game 22-21 at Rose Stadium to avoid being swept by the Red Raiders. Well, a valiant effort from Robert E. Lee, David. They laid it all out on the table and had made play after play after play on the final drive, and they just come up a bit short, and you can't blame Mike Owens for doing what he did. He wants, he wanted this win badly in regulation. So Longview just has to take a knee, and the sophomore, Carlin Freeman, what a game he has played here tonight, and the Lobos come into the game bruised and battered, and both teams come out of it with the same, and that's gonna be most likely the last play of this game. They might have to take one more snap, with 28 seconds to go, James Gilbert taking his time and now blows the whistle and Longview does not have to take a snap. There's exactly the same amount of time on the play clock as the game clock and Longview and Carlin Freeman and the Lobos are gonna beat number four Robert E. Lee in a huge win for Pat Collins and his football team as Collins gets a big Gatorade bash on the far side of the field and we'll talk to Mike about the decision with Craig Smoke in just a moment. Our final score, the Longview Lobos 22 and Robert E. Lee 21 as they go for two and the pass is overshot to Brandon Pettigrew as Mike went for the win in regulation.